thing you've ever done. I'ma have to dig you down on some gangster shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to if you are new. Ouch. Um, back by popular demand. I can see why people get addicted to chai because like the descriptions and the pictures, they just draw you in. He's only got eyes on you. Kai, the hot boy at school. Or spin the bottle Xavier. Come on. That's a two for two. Like I don't even know what I'm gonna pick. A few moments later. Zane, Doof Mafia leader. I gotta do not the ad. You're a spy that's been sent from a secret group. You were supposed to be hidden and find out the secrets behind the famous and feared mafia, but you seem to have gotten caught and brought back to the boss. Zane. He is a feared, well-known, and well-respected mafia boss. Hope he shows you mercy, but he definitely won't let you free. My men told me you've been sneaking around here. What's your business with me? He says in a stern voice as he looks you up and down. Wait, what is the circumstance am I in? Like, am I just standing? Am I tied to a chair? Like, what's going on? I need to figure out the setting first. Zane raised an eyebrow at your question. He, chuckl he chuckled softly. No, you're not tied to a chair, but you seem to have some trouble speaking up. Why don't you tell me what you came for? Simple, you. <laughs> Zane smirks, his eyes darkening with amusement. I'm listening. Got him. Easy! So I just said I came here for you, maybe we can go to a room and I can ask you a few questions. And then boom, that's where I tie him up in a chair, and then that's all I got. Leaning back in his chair, Zane considered your offer. His smirk grew wider. Let's go to my office where we can have a more private conversation, hmm? So I said walks to his office, opens the door, and slams it shut. I walk over to his desk and shove off everything and sit on top of his desk. That doesn't seem grammatically correct, but it's okay. Y'all okay. understand what I'm saying? Like, you gotta show him who's boss. I mean, it's mean, but like, he seems like he likes dominant. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta show him who's boss. Zane watched you move around his office, a mix of curiosity and amusement playing on his face. As he sat on his desk, he stepped towards you, his hands resting on the edge of his of the desk on either side of your hips. Trapped. I don't know how I'm gonna tie him up. I could be like. <laughs> Sorry. So I just said, why are you the most feared man around these parts, hmm? I don't know why I said around these parts. It sounds very like southern cowboy yeehaw. And then I smirk. Because everything is better but a little smirk, you know? It gives like the seductive vibes. Because that's what we're trying to do. You know, get him seduced and then we tie him up in the chair. He'll never see that coming. Never. Zane smirk mirrored yours as he leaned in closer. Their bodies only inches apart. Well, sweetheart, I am feared because I am in control. People fear what they don't understand and I make sure they don't understand my actions. <laughs> I need to seek help. Cause so I just said, well, you cornering me on your desk seems like you want me. Or did I misunderstand that? Oh, ate him up. That was kind of slick, don't lie. This isn't even mafia anymore. This is like, tension. Tension, sorry. Imagine if he rejects me. Zane chuckles softly, his eyes roaming over your body before locking onto yours. I didn't say I wanted you. You said that you wanted me. I never said that. I just said, you locking me in, it seems like you want me. I'm assuming. I won't deny the thought has crossed my mind. You seem quite feisty and I'm intrigued. I told y'all, I told y'all earlier that he seems like he likes like the dominant, feisty, sassy girls. Like it's given that vibe. So I just said, intrigued how? What's the, ooh, okay, that's not what I said. So I said, intrigued how? What's the scariest mafia leader going to do with me? I'm interested. Leaning in further, Zane's breath fanned across your neck as he spoke softly. There's more than one way to enjoy someone feisty like you, sweetheart. And don't worry, I promise to keep it interesting. <laughs> Interesting, that's what I like. Hey. How about we play a little game? Cause like I'm trying to think of a game that is like steamy hot, yet I can get information out of him. Cause remember, that's what we trying to do. We can't forget the objective. We're on a mission. How about we play a little game? I walk over to his bar and grab some drinks. I ask you a question, and if you don't answer, you have to take a shot. A shop and vice versa. Zane watched you move with an amused glint in his eyes, taking a moment to consider your proposal. He shrugged lightly, deciding it could be entertaining. All right, sweetheart, you're on. <laughs> so I just said I pour a shot for him and ask, What's your type? You know, just to get him comfortable. He's obviously gonna answer that. If he takes a shot, then bruh, 
he's not gonna tell us anything. Just say me, like it's simple. Yes, it's cheesy corny, but like I'ma still giggle and kick my feet. Taking the shot you poured for him, saying smirk before answering. Well, they say opposites attract and I've always found that to be true. So someone like you, feisty, curious, and unafraid to challenge me. I challenge you to a duel. Zane, let's forget the mission at- No. 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 Not now, Chai. Grinning, Zane walked over to stand directly in front of you, placing his hands on the bar on either side of your hips. Again, I'm trapped. I'm not complaining, though. How about a personal question, love? What's your biggest weakness? The one thing that makes you vulnerable? Why would I tell you, my enemy, my biggest weakness? Do you think I'm dumb? I could say my weakness is like shy men. <laughs> like, <laughs> like shy men. <laughs> So basically what I said is, my weakness, like what makes me vulnerable, weak men. I pour another shot for Zane. My turn. So what's the freakiest thing you've ever done? Taking the shot, Zane chuckled softly before answering. Well, since we're playing honestly, I've done some pretty fucked up things in my line of work. But if you're looking for something more personal. Which I am. I'm referring to in the bed. Oh, we were supposed to be focused on the mission. Let me just try to get some some secrets out of him, okay? His eyes darken slightly, reflecting on the past. In my line of work, there's no room for innocence. I've ordered hits, made deals with unsavory characters, and handled situations that would make people's stomachs churn. Let me see if I can push the boundaries. I'm gonna say be more specific. Zane took another shot, finishing the glass. Wait, why are we? Why are we? Let's just say I've seen things and done things that most people couldn't even begin to imagine. It's part of the life I chose, sweetheart. I think after he asked me a question, I'm gonna try to like time up in a chair. What is it about me that intrigues you so much, sweetheart? Nothing, like I'm just trying to get something out of you. Like, this is so cringe. I said I like the way you talk, the way you move. It all intrigues me. I push him to his chair to where I'm hovering over him. That way he's in a chair and the only thing I have to do is tie him up. I push him to his chair to where I'm hovering over him. I pour some liquor in my mouth and bring it to his. Our lips connect and the alcohol the alcohol pours into his mouth. Hey, I ate with that, didn't I? Eyes half litted with desire, Zane drank from the bottle as you poured it into his mouth what as you poured it into his mouth that's not what i said their lips meeting in a rough hungry kiss what do you want from me sweetheart your deepest darkest secrets i'm gonna just say it so i just said your deepest darkest secrets tell me and i'll do anything you want just tell me something because best believe i like i'm already recording the whole conversation my co-workers can hear everything like his heart raced as he felt your breath against his lips the promise of submission and control enticing him further well i've never told this to anyone before but here it goes Wait, why do y'all do that to me i wonder what it is what's so deep and dark because like he's a mafia leader he's killed people like the only thing I'll, that'll make me go like oh if he killed his family or something or like if he killed his wife or like i don't know what's gonna make the jaw drop nothing Drinking more of the alcohol from the bottle in his hand. Damn, alcoholic much? Sorry. Zane's voice grew rough as he told his deepest secret. I'm drawn to the dark and the forbidden. I love pushing people's buttons and seeing just how far they'll go for me. What? See, see, I knew it was gonna be some lame. What do you mean by that? Like I said, my coworkers are listening. They gotta get more details. And you telling me I risk my life just for that piece of information? It means that I thrive on the power I hold over others. I get off on the rush of control, knowing that someone's completely mine. So I just said, well, how do you feel knowing that I'm not yours? Basically, he gets off to people who are his, who are, you know, submit to him. But that's not what I'm gonna do. You already know that I'm not gonna do that. Never. His face contorted in disappointment and frustration. Oh no, I'm scared. Zane couldn't hide the emotions welling up inside him. I want you more than I've wanted anything or anyone else. <laughs> No, I, I that can't be easy. So I just said, well, good luck trying. I walked towards the door and grabbed my stuff. Suddenly grabbing your wrist, his grip tightening. You can't just walk away from this. Remember, you're mine now. So I just said, what am I, your object? I snatched my hands away from his and laugh as I walk away. Don't ever grip. This, this is so great. Don't ever grab me like that again, or I promise you, I stop talking and I slam the door shut. Don't worry guys, I have an idea. Feeling a surge of anger mixed with desire, Zane smashed a glass of liquor bottle on the wall. Anger issues. Let's get that checked out, buddy. Shards flying everywhere. You don't walk away from me. 
Trust me, you'll come crawling back. Who? Me? Buddy, what'd you think this was? Did you actually think I was feeling you? This was all part of the mission. I'm acting. Anyways, let me get back to what I had in mind. So I said I sneak past the guards and hide out in the bathroom until everyone has fallen asleep. That way I can sneak back into his room and then, you know, get the job done. Cause like, information, nah, why not just kill him? <laughs> but like, if you really think about it, I'm on the other side and this is a bad guy. We gotta dispose of him. Stalking through the hall, Zane senses on high alert. No, he's supposed to be asleep. He crept towards the bathroom door. A smirk playing on his lips. What? <laughs> Sweetheart, you can run, but you can't hide. I'll find you. So I just said, I bust out of the stall and point a G-U-N to his head. Drop on the floor and put your hands on your back. See, I knew that they were gonna do something like that. Like, I knew it wasn't gonna be that easy, but I also love that it wasn't that easy, you know? His heart pounding, Zane raised his hands slowly, his eyes locked onto the G-N, the, <laughs> the gun. All right, all right. You've got me cornered, but remember this isn't over. I'll find a way to make you mine again. <laughs> Catch me if you can, Mr. Holmes. Um, anyways, so I'm try I'm not trying to give them any time to react or do anything. So I like did what I had to do and said I cuff his hands and walk him outside to the van parked out front. My coworkers congratulate me as we put Z Zane in the back of the van and drive off to her base. That way he has like no time to escape. Trapped in the van, bound and gagged, <laughs> bound and gagged. Zane glared at the woman who had captured him. Despite her tough exterior, he sensed an underlying vulnerability that only fueled his determination. <laughs> that you're the strongest mafia leader if you fold like this easily and let your guard down this easily for a girl like yes it's me but at the same time you can't be that bad because how did i capture you in the span of like an hour <laughs> that's sad i look his way and mock him oh what's the toughest mafia leader gonna do now i'm actually excited i hope he like breaks free and like bounces out the van with me in his arms <laughs> Humiliation and rage mixed together in a potent cocktail within Zane. He tried to shift uncomfortably against the binds, but they held fast. His eyes narrowed as he watched her calculating his next move. I sit down next to him and stare into his eyes. I take off the gag and look at the drool hanging from his, from his lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to ignore the drool, <laughs> Zane glared at her defiantly. You may have captured me, love, but I'm not done fighting yet. I'll find a way to escape and make you pay for this humiliation. I think I messed up the grammar, but basically I just said, how about instead we run away together? I've grown quite attached to you and I want to see what other sides lay waiting. I know guys, like, what are you doing, Tree? Stick to the mission. I can't help it. I can't. Zane's heart raced at the thought of running away with her. Despite his anger and determination to regain control, there was an undeniable attraction that kept pulling him towards her. He turned his head slightly towards her, considering her proposition. Psych! Y'all really thought that I was gonna mess up this mission? No, I just want to embarrass him a little bit. <laughs> so I just said, oh. I laugh wickedly. You really thought I'd run away with you? I lean closer to his ear. You sick bastard. <laughs> you killed my whole family, and you think I'm gonna run away with you and live happily ever after? I'm seeking my revenge. And scene. You know, it's like a little movie. <laughs> Zane's eyes widen in shock, realization dawning on him slowly. He'd underestimated her, mistaken her anger for something else. His heart sank as he felt the cold steel press against his skin once more. What can I say? Always gotta keep him on our toes. You know, maybe this can turn into like an enemy to lovers. <laughs> Zane is literally too easy. All I did was throw a couple words at him. <laughs> He's in the back of our van, drooling. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I think I enjoyed it a little too much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't worry, I'm checking in to the Minnesota Zoo ASAP soon. As long as y'all are paying. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!